Hello YouTube and welcome to your 11th JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial we will be discussing something called this in JavaScript. In my earlier tutorials I have used the keyword this many a times but not explained properly what this do. Now technically this keyword refers to the owner of the function or any object you are calling in. For instance if I create a function x with an alert of this and we call this function down here then the owner of this function is obviously the window super global because we haven't trapped this in anything so the owner of this function x is the window super global and thus it would alert the super global window object window as you can see but for instance if I do something like supposingly I want to change this value of text on clicking so what I would do is I would create on click event attribute and it call the function X and let's modify X a little bit and we'll do alert this now what would happen is it would still alert the window super global because though it is called by an HTML element still the owner of this function is window but if we pass a parameter this in the function right here in the HTML and we get this, this reference with the keyword or any keyword E or event whatever you like and alert event then what we will see is that this keyword right here refers to this element this HTML element because the owner of this function right here right now is this this particular HTML tag which is the div ID one but inside this function that this keyword again refers to the window super global thus you can see that this can modify its values from place to place even in the same function for instance the event right here refers to the reference of this inside this function let's try to run this code and see what happens okay now we have this div and on clicking we should get two alerts first with the event which refers to the this keyword of this tag and then the original this which refers to the window super global let's try to click on this and as you see we get the first alert as object HTML div element because this keyword here refers to the div of HTML that is div ID 1 and we are passing this as it is in the function as the argument and receiving it here in the alert box now on clicking on OK we get object window therefore this keyword has changed its value from object div HTML element to its original window super global here so this was a short introduction to the keyword this I hope you are clear with what this does and why this is used ah yes okay so in the last tutorial I told you about the objects and why should we use this keyword in the function and constructor function basically for instance let's create a function with mm, my object and let's create some properties this dot x is equal to 100 this dot y is equal to 200 uh, let's create another function with the returning value of this dot x star this dot y now supposingly I create an object here with this constructor function o is new my object now let's console log ok let's create a variable var a is equal to 300 now cons let's console log 
O dot A. Now what we'll see here is undefined and I'll tell you in a moment why and let's create another variable or let's console log this variable or the property of the object and we'll see 100 let's console log the property and we'll see we'll see 200 and finally let's console log the method and we'll see what you say yes okay so let's verify the results first uh, let's move to console as you can see oh my why this is undefined this dot z so to function oh this should return a value and let's see okay perfect now in the first case we have created a variable a if you look back to my variable scopes tutorial in functions and javascript you will see that this variable is local to this function but this keyword right here refers to any of the instance we create with this constructor function now instance is basically a fancy way of saying creating an object from a constructor class that's it that's the difference between instance and a kind of object okay so this keyword here particularly refers to the object we have created with the new keyword now for instance we have created a object o with new my object and when we access the property o dot a then we get undefined because this a refers to this function scope only and it cannot be accessed by any other objects we create with this base class or constructor class you can say but o dot x here refers to the basically the property here in the object now basically this doesn't directly look upon this objects constructor class and I'll tell you why this first of all if we do something like o dot x is equal to 300 and then we refresh this page you can see the value has changed but why didn't it get the value of its constructor class now here comes the thing prototype and prototypal inheritance in JavaScript which we'll discuss in future tutorials because it would be some time consuming and would need a lot of attention and focus okay coming back to this tutorial we have o.x here and o.x has this keyword attached to it which says that I want to access the value of this particular constructor class objects created that means that this keyword does not refer to this function because as I told you earlier in a function this keyword refers to window super global because this refers to the owner of a particular function or an object so here we are creating a keyword or a kind of object O. Now the owner of this function is O here so this refers to the object O. Then we are doing O dot X. Now this refers to O and then O dot X is obviously the functions X which is 100 and does it return 100 but if we modify this then we are into something called prototypes and prototypal inheritance which I'll discuss in the future tutorials so this is all for this keyword this in the JavaScript and I'll see you soon in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching my video